Pat with Pat's Two Cents, a testimony of why this was written for God. While praying, I received a download of some key points of why the Wizard of Oz and the Bible have many parallels to the end times. I thought it was very interesting, but had no real intention of sharing this information. For a couple of days, I had remembered what I was shown and finally told God that if he truly wanted me to get this information out, that he would have to give me a good confirmation. Well, that day, I went to help someone out, and while I was driving, I saw a van parked on the street. On the side of the van, it said, Wizard of Paws, <laughs> your basic dog grooming van, which I never saw in this area. I said to God, well, that was convincing, but I want another confirmation that's equally as persuasive to confirm you want this written up. So I took care of what I needed to do and about 45 minutes later, I was turning onto the main street about one mile from where I originally saw the van and I saw a tow truck that was towing the Wizard of Paws van. All I could think was, you gotta be kidding me. That night, I go to new videos and what do I see but someone else's video on the Wizard of Oz. Another confirmation. All right, here we go. Wizard of Oz movie parallels the Holy Bible and end times. Players are, the Wizard of Oz is a fake and a phony, a mere magic act. Dorothy is lost, but thinks the wizard is important in helping her get home. Our true home is heaven. The wizard is a false idol, and in biblical terms, a false god. Tin Man was emotionless, no heart, no soul, your basic artificial intelligence, AI, a robotic creation. Cowardly Lion, well, he's pushy and demanding, but he was fearful of everything and everyone fear is not of God. Scarecrow. His journey is to find a brain. At the end of the movie, the Scarecrow gets a certificate showing he has a brain. Unfortunately, he, has, he is no better off than when he started. In 1 Corinthians 1.27, it says, but God had chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And God had chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. Some of the chosen people of God are not the ones you would expect to make it to heaven. Some are the outcasts in life. Some have been drunks, some addicted to drugs, liars, fornicators, and even murderers. What they have in common is they have turned their lives around and given up their sins to be closer to God by accepting Jesus in their hearts. The yellow brick road. Yellow represents gold, which is hard to find and precious. Brick road represents the narrow path in life, which is the way to God, and few follow it. The wicked witch is Satan. Satan's job is to make sure we do not find God and do stay in sin. Flying monkeys are demons which cause problems in our lives. Obstacles we encounter while sin is introduced into our lives. Now, Toto is the Holy Spirit. Dorothy speaks and talks to Toto. Toto barks at the false idol, giving away the wizard's secret of being an idol. The poisonous poppy field represents where they get off the narrow road and fall asleep. This represents the few that get close to the finish line, but get off the straight and narrow. Poppies can cause death, just like sin, 
Only those who have conquered their flesh will get back on the right path. We all veer off the narrow path, for not one of us is perfect. We all can repent of our sins and can get back on that road. The poppies did not affect the tin man and the straw man because they were not made of flesh and blood. The whole group makes it to the Wizard of Oz, which is only an idol, a false god. These are the empty promises of all religions that do not align with true Christianity. We see that God is within us all. Our faith needs to be strong. Our love of others must be paramount. Never falter from that narrow road and never deviate from good. Sin takes you off that path. Be steadfast. The Holy Spirit knew all along the correct path. The inner self always knows what is wrong and what is right. But the question is, do we listen to our inner voice? Holy Spirit, that is. Do we stop sin before it becomes part of us? Do we do what is right instead of what our flesh wants to do? Do we treat others like we want to be treated? Dorothy finds out that she always had the way to go back home on her own, heaven. By the same token, all we need to do to go back home is to believe in Jesus, his sacrifice, and his resurrection. Going home is a free gift. All we need to do is believe, have faith, and follow God's rules. With wizard being a false idol or false god, it becomes apparent that we all can make it home to heaven by belief in someone we cannot see. The veil does not have to come down for us to be heaven bound. Belief, faith, and righteousness can get us there. Thank you.